Hi y'all, it is Monday, June 7th, and this is my third attempt at this video. The first one, I forgot what I messed up. The second one was 15 minutes long, which is a little bit too long for me. So I'm gonna try and condense it here so I can cut down on editing. We'll see. Um, so quick recap, this is my birthday week, and my original plan was to be away. As you can see from my background here, I am not away. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Uh, I think busyness, finances, uh, those two things were very big contributing factors in me scaling down, scaling back, and canceling some of my birthday plans. But then also, when I had scaled back and scaled down and kind of like changed my expectation, I really sensed the Lord saying, don't go on the, the last trip that I had planned. And I was slash am very disappointed about that, but I've been talking to the Lord about wanting to hear his voice and be more obedient quickly. So here we are, you know, I can't pray that prayer. And then when he presents instruction, be like, mm, I don't think so. Now I felt myself. <laughs> I felt myself trying to rationalize and reason and be like, God, it can't be that bad. Like, it's just a short trip. I'll be back. You know, like I just need to get away. And I honestly was so frustrated because I'm like, God, you know, you know, I really just wanted to get away. Like, that's all I wanted. And I really, I mean, it opened the door to some really good conversations with the Lord to show that I still need to grow in my trust and how I trust him. You know, I, I try to be as, as just real with God as, as possible. And I was like, Lord, the verse says those who trust in you will not be disappointed. But I feel like I've put things, I let things go and I was disappointed in the past. So now I'm like, maybe I shouldn't let them go all the way. Now, that's not right. That's not the right way to think. But I, that's that's where I was. That's where I was. And I didn't even realize that. You know, I think the beauty sometimes of, of just life and willingness to just be transparent and process things with God is you, you like, there's a verse that says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. If you would just ask me point blank, do you trust God? I'd be like, yeah. But that frustration it opened the door for me to be like, ooh, I guess I don't trust God like I thought I did. So, anyway, it just, yeah, I had to contend with a lot of things. Just thinking, do I believe that the life God has for me is good? And then do I believe that there is, that I'm going to enjoy it? You know, is that important to God? Does he care if I enjoy the life he has for me? So I think I had this idea of, I mean, I'll just go along with whatever he says, but I'm not going to enjoy it. But he loves me and he knows me better than I know myself. So the stuff that he has that he says is good for me, I have to be willing to trust that it is good and just do what he says to do. And that is harder than it should be, you know? He's definitely proven himself faithful. I like, I can't even sit here and like, <laughs> there are many ways. I, I mean, when I sit and look back on my life, I can like, I know God loves me and I know his good things in store. And I'm not gonna cry through this video we did that last time and I'm not gonna do it again but my point is I um I like I gotta trust God and I gotta obey that's just my life now before I would have tried to reason it out and do different things but I just have committed to doing what God says to being honest about where I am to getting help to trying to not ignoring the parts of me that need to be worked on and that is kind of a bummy like it, it's, it's not enjoyable <laughs> It's not enjoyable right now, but it's it's helping me. It's refining me. So there we go. And it was really it ended up being really good because yesterday when all this stuff kind of came to a head, um, I canceled my travel plans for that afternoon. But I just still was like, I need to get out the house. I just I'm in my own head too much, and I'm and I was getting so frustrated. And so I I hopped on the bus and I went to this park that I've passed many times, um, and I just sat there. I talked to the Lord a little bit and I walked around. I went on the swings, which, you know, if you know me, you know I love playgrounds. Um, I just kind of hung out and then I went home and it was great. It's been an interesting weekend. I did get to uh, sleep over my friend's house. We had a very late Friday night, so I didn't get to see her a whole lot that night. But then Saturday we hung out, hung out with her family, had some good conversations and um, played catch with her daughter, my little niece. Um, so yeah, it, it's been it's been a good couple of days, you know. And I think that's the thing is to 
Like, Robin, you got first world problems, sis. You know? All things considered, you got first world problems only. You know? So, I don't know what the rest of this week is going to look like. Um, and I don't love that because if you know me, you know I'm a planner. I like to have a set, a set agenda in place regularly, but especially for my birthday. That's, that's where we are today. It's uh, June 7th, we're three days away, which is crazy because I was thinking like, we're halfway through the year. What? Where, what? Where did 2021 go? Um, yeah, there's just so much. There's just so much going on. And I'm really excited. I do want to do, um, I think another video about just some expectations of 32, walking into this new year of my life. Um, just some reflections on turning 32 which is crazy because I feel like I'm still 25 or 26. I kind of miss those years, to be honest. Someone was saying like, when you get older, you don't wish you were back in the, but I do. I wish I could take like the things I've learned and transport them back into 26 year old Robin and make several different choices, several. Um, but yeah, I think my next video is gonna be a reflection, a reflections video, maybe of like the last few years and choices that I've made, some that I regret, and some that I'm grateful for. But yeah, I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else significant to share with you guys. Oh, I did want to share updates on finances. So I'm doing like okay with the whole debt thing. Um, I was really counting on that president to come through with this debt cancellation thing. And I feel like he had one job and he did not do it. I'm gonna still pray for him, okay? I'm going to still pray for you, President, President Biden, because you got to come for these student loans. This is, I thought you were going to do that for us. Um, so we're going to keep praying about that because I'm not here for it. Um, but beyond that, my financial goals, they're going okay. I just wish I'd been a millionaire six months ago and could just knock some of these things out. Um, originally, a lot of my birthday plans changed because I couldn't justify spending the money on them. And I really want to tackle some of this debt stuff. I have some business things to pay for. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of times I'm kind of just stalled waiting for money. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that's about it. Hey, thank you for watching. Still surreal that I'm doing this. Still so strange to me, but we're going to keep rocking. <laughs> I'll see you later.